Cheers, we're here at Epic Brewing Company, doing a little brewed food action. We're gonna break down for you exactly how we take those ingredients right behind us and turn them into amazing food to pair right alongside those beers, utilizing ingredients and techniques going way beyond the finished beers and actually mimicking a lot of those flavors from the processes that these brewers are taking because those brewers back there behind me are the real chefs of today's culinary world. We're making some sriracha. Sriracha to me is so American that it's in every Mexican food restaurant. I can imagine that everybody watching this has a bottle of red hot cock sauce in their drawer, or in their hand right now, looking at the bottle going, shit, there is a red cock on that. So, pretty simple. We're gonna take our fancy hawker stand station here and we're going to do some commando cooking for you and create framboise sriracha. Framboise is basically fermented raspberries that you see in a lot of Belgian style beers, lambics, the brainless on raspberries here, amazing, fruit forward, but still really balanced, high alcohol, tons of yeast flavor, that Belgian yeast character. We're gonna take Fresno chilies and our fucking enormous uh, cleaver. You must have one of these and these fancy chairs because your sriracha it'll taste better, trust me. The big difference between this and the bottle you're buying now at every single American or Asian market or Mexican market anywhere is this stuff is all natural, baby. No xanthan gum, no sodium bisulfite. I can't even spell that shit, so it doesn't go anywhere near this dish. But then this is where it's gonna get really intense. This is a Trinidad Scorpion chili, hottest chili, second hottest chili, excuse me now. Some crazy scientists are always trying to melt your face off even more. Just imagine a jalapeno is about 7,000 Scoville units, the unit for measuring the heat index. A habanero is about 350,000. This is about 1.2 million. So everybody in the pool, we got our raspberries, our chilies, our garlic, and then the real king of the mountain. So this right here is Belgian yeast pulled right out of these fermenters from Epic Brewing Company. This is gonna give us the character of this. It's gonna ferment, it's gonna make it funky, it's gonna have those bready, yeasty characteristics that you associate with Belgian beer. It's gonna suck up all of that agave, all that sugar, and it's gonna take this sriracha really to the next level. This is where I wish I was one of those like little Asian or Mexican ladies that grinds all day long that has forearms like Popeye. So we don't have to worry about getting this smooth. We really just want to release all those oils. We want to break down some of that cellulose, some of that plant matter to help facilitate this fermentation. Once this gets done fermenting, we're going to ferment for about two weeks. That's when you'll blend this up in your fancy American blender technology. Again, the more Asian that your equipment and ingredients look, the more legit this is gonna taste. So, we got kind of our Korean style little uh, pots that you'll see uh, kimchi fermented in a lot. Then real simple, you're gonna take this, you're gonna set it on your counter for two weeks, you're gonna forget about it, it'll tell you when it's about ready, because all of a sudden, you'll start smelling these, uh, these hints of the, uh, the times that you walk past the Asian market and go, what the fuck is that smell? That is your sriracha getting ready to go. Close the lid, everyone's happy in there, wait two weeks and you're gonna have delicious sriracha. I'm Jensen Cummings, we're Brewed Food, we're at Epic Brewing Company, and this is Framboise Sriracha.